Okay, all I'm doing on this short video is I'm going to bring up the voltage. I'm going to, I've got a, uh, an external yoke attached and we're just going to see if this thing, if, what I'm trying to determine if the yoke is my problem or not. So, and I'm monitoring B plus voltage, there's 350. Now we're dropping down because the tubes are warming up. Well, this isn't working. Apparently, that it uh, the circuit doesn't like that yoke. Uh, apparently, it doesn't like it. I might have this thing working. The uh, test jig didn't work, but I'm going to power it up. I replaced that mica capacitor that was was out of whack, and I replaced two resistors that were out of range in the uh, in the horizontal uh, output tube section. My B plus is holding at 349 volts. Some of my best friends used to be cops. What were you doing here? I was driving around killing people. And, uh, amusing myself. I don't know about the vertical size. But sometimes I like to be by myself. I had it. Hi. My psychiatrist says it's good for my personality to meet all sorts of people. What do you do with your personality? The things in skirts that call themselves ladies. Ellen Morrison. But as like you can see. I get it on. <laughs> This thing appears to be working right now. <laughs> I don't see any red plate on the horizontal output tubes, at least not yet. Uh, I'll watch that after a while. But, uh, believe it or not, uh, without replacing what I thought was a bad flyback, I spliced together the yolk wires and I shrunk tube them. And, uh, that test yoke that I had on it just did not work. So I uh, actually feel very confident that I'm actually getting somewhere with this set. Uh, 349 volts, supposed to be 360 volts B plus, but <clears throat> this is pretty promising. I'm pretty, pretty happy about this. So let's see how far we get with this set yet.